Hey everyone, Matthew again. Today I have an issue that I ran into when I started using the scuff controller for the first time. Any pro player would tell you that the best way to up your game in console gaming is to get a scuff controller at some point in time. So me trying to be the best I can be, I asked my girlfriend to buy me one for Christmas and long story short, she did. And now I have this beautiful scuff controller right here. Let's see if it focuses. Bam, look at this baby. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. First thing I did, I booted up a game of Call of Duty and to my surprise, I played like shit. After a little bit of tactical planning, I could safely say that I think I'm a top notch player on console. So here's my video on how to master the scuff gaming controller. Now first thing first, if you're a casual gamer and you like to play at your friend's house or you'd like to have a couple friends over, this might not be the thing for you because the thing about a scuff gaming controller is that the ergonomics of the controller itself is totally different than a regular PS4 or Xbox controller. Once you get used to the paddles on the back, you won't be able to go back to a regular PS4 controller. Now you may ask, why is this? It's because the paddles on the back of the controller are going to be your main source of movement from now on so you will never have to use the buttons in the front again unless you're able to multitask also the way you position your fingers on a regular controller is different than a scuff controller which leads to my next point from experience the first time i started using a scuff controller in call of duty i found myself aiming and pressing the jump button at the same time and this was because i'm so used to clenching my hand whenever I aim down sight or clench my hand whenever I shoot. And this is a problem because once you clench your hand with the scuff controller, you end up pressing the paddle on the back. Now the only way to fix this is with practice. So like I said before, the ergonomics of the controller is gonna be different now. So your index finger and middle finger aren't gonna be wrapped around the controller like it used to be before. I promise you at first, this is gonna be very uncomfortable and you might even catch a cramp in your hand. But just trust me, over time, if you just keep on playing with your scuff, you're going to get used to it and you'll no longer catch cramps and it's going to be second nature to you. Now, this is the hardest part to master because after playing first person shooter games for such a long time, I'm so used to moving my thumb from the thumbstick to the front facing buttons instead of pressing on the paddles in the back. Now, what a good friend told me was to cover your X or O buttons if you're on PS4 or your jump and crotch buttons if you're on Xbox with a piece of tape. Now this isn't gonna stop you from pressing the X or O buttons, but psychologically, whenever you move your thumb off the thumbstick and touch one of those buttons, you're gonna know you're doing something wrong. If you have a scuff impact controller, you could actually take it a step further since you have four paddles rather than two, you could secure your thumb to the analog stick by using a rubber band or a piece of tape, basically to tell your mind that you're not supposed to touch those buttons. Now to the practice part. Now trust me, this is gonna take a bit of time to get used to because your brain is so used to using those front buttons, but you need to make sure you rework it so that you're using those paddles instead. So in order to do this, you have to use those paddles for virtually everything. So from navigating the home screen, the main menu, changing your weapon loadouts, you get the point. Basically, you have to use it for everything. Since I don't have single player games, I had to practice in multiplayer, which is a little bit more difficult since it's more fast paced. And once a person's in front of you, everything goes out the door and you just start playing like how you used to play. So what I did was from the minute the game started, you just jump and slide, jump, slide, jump, slide. And you just keep on using those paddles for everything you do, even when you're not even supposed to use it. And over time, you're just going to keep on getting used to that. And then when you do run into an engagement, you're going to find yourself using those paddles. Now, at first, it's going to be a little bit hard, but you just have to keep on practicing and practicing. Make sure you don't use those front facing buttons for anything and make sure you use those paddles for everything. If you have Apex Legends, you could do the same exact thing in the training room and just practice aiming without jumping or shooting without crouching. And what I mean by this is try to aim without pressing down on this paddle right here. So you just aim and then when you want to jump, just jump. 
and just repeating these motions one after the other so your hand gets used to it because what I used to do in the past is I would just clench up my hand like this whenever I'm aiming down and if you do that with this controller you end up pressing the jump button also as a side tip this is how you should be holding a scuff controller you should use your index fingers to press down on the shoot and aim buttons and then you should use your middle finger for the paddles themselves if you like to play like this which i don't know anybody that plays like this but then you have to use your ring finger to press down on the scuff i feel like this is a little bit harder because ring finger isn't as strong as your your index and your middle finger so you might find yourself in a little tricky scenario especially since these buttons are a little bit harder to press down on so as a summary get your hands in a comfortable position where you can push down on the r2 and l2 buttons easily without pressing down on the paddles themselves never use the front buttons and always use the paddles the minute you turn on your console and lastly Practice in-game, practice out of the game, practice with or without engagements. And over time, you're gonna see yourself much better when you're using the scuff controller and you're gonna find yourself being a better player overall. So this sums it up. Thanks guys for watching once again. If you have a scuff controller at home, let me know in the comment section below how you were able to master it. And if you don't have a scuff controller and you just watch my video, let me know how it goes for you. Also, you can find me on Twitter as well as Twitch. So you can check down in the description below for the links to those channels. But once again, guys, this is Matthew. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Peace out.